If you ever find yourself trying to live a life that truly honors Jesus, but you keep falling short like I do, maybe the verse of the day will speak to you. My name is Craig Rochelle. I'm the pastor of Life Church, and the verse for today comes from John chapter 1, verse 14, when Scripture says, the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We've seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. There's a devotional translation of the Bible that translates a portion of the verse this way, the Word became flesh and blood and moved into our neighborhood. I love that. God didn't shout His love from heaven, but He showed His love on earth. He sent Jesus full of grace and truth. What does grace do? What does truth do? Well, grace saves and truth frees. What is grace? It comes from the Greek word charis, which means the undeserved kindness or favor and goodwill of God. Ephesians says we're saved by grace through faith. It's completely undeserved. The moment you think you deserve it, it's not grace then. What does grace do? Well, grace saves. But Jesus isn't just full of grace. He's also truth. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I am the truth. Truth isn't just rules and morals, but the truth is a person. It's Jesus. And Jesus said, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Grace saves and truth freeze. Unfortunately, one of the biggest challenges in our churches across the world is some churches lean too far toward grace and some too far toward truth. You know, truth churches, the legalistic Christians that are always judgmental and arrogant and narrow-minded. If you've ever been around a legalistic family, sometimes the kids end up wild. Why? There's a problem. Rules without relationship or truth without grace, it often leads to rebellion. Then there's hyper-grace, you know, like, I'm okay, you're okay, who are you to judge? God understands, he loves you, you do you, boo-boo. Well, just as truth without grace leads to rebellion, grace without truth leads to relativism. There's no such thing as absolute truth. You know, this is my truth, you do your truth. No one can tell me how to live as long as you're happy. Well, who is Jesus? He is the Word made flesh. He's full of grace and truth. His grace. It's so undeserved, it's almost scandalous. It's lavishly displayed for us on the cross. But Jesus is also truth, and his truth isn't restrictive. It's not repressive. It's not oppressive. Truth is freeing. It's liberating. It's life-giving. So if you're struggling to live a life that pleases God, lean on his grace and live by his truth, because grace will save you and truth will set you free.